Hello, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi, hi. Good evening, welcome. everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being on time. Okay. Let's see, we have 10 participants right now. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your cameras, Daniel. Yes, Carla, Herbert, Atel. Okay. How are you, Carla? Carla, you were here yesterday. Carla Moreno. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Carla? So you didn't. Mm -hmm. uh we're here right oh yes no right no what happened to you carla okay welcome for the ones that are joining the the meeting thank you eugenia i see your camera nice okay good night good evening good thank evening. you Sorry. good evening <laughs> german thank you Okay, so thank you, Anaida. Now I see your camera. Hilda, Diana, uh, Angie, Jessica, Irene, Fidel, Harold. Nice. Okay, now we have more. Perfect. Okay, now we are 17. We have a few, a few, a few more pending. Okay, so let's start with the attendance. Remember that that is something that's a rule that I have to pass the attendance um, every in every class. Thank you, Irene, for your camera. Um, Ana Guerra, it's Taya Ana Guerra. It's being connected. Thank you, Ana Guerra. Angie, Astrid, I estaba desde temprano, Astrid. Okay, nice. So uh, let's uh, start with the attendance and I have it right here. And uh, thank you for the uh, assignments that you did on the platform. I was checking today and um, we are almost done. I guess that most of us, we are complete uh, with the platform, okay? So, uh, today is uh, Tuesday 27, right? That's the 27th. So let's see, Anna, Anna Astrid Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Anna Guerra. Ya la vi Present, por ahí está. Thank you. Anna Cristina. Anna Cristina. No. Anna Lisbeth. Elizabeth, no. Um, Ana Victoria. Okay, let me mute right here because someone is right. Okay, so let's see. Ana Miriam. Ana Victoria, no. 
Angie Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Angie. Carla Raquel. Por ahí está. Cindy Arely. Cindy. No. Cordelia Elizabeth. No. Daniel Edgardo. Por ahí Present está. teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Diana Lisbeth. Por ahí la vi a Diana Lisbeth. Ok. Uh, Doris Maricela. Doris. No. Edwin Edgardo. Edwin Edgardo. No. Uh, Achel was the Present first teacher. one. Thank you. Eneida Patricia. Por ahí está. Present. Erica Luisa. No. Um, Eugenia Asunción, por ahí está. Fidel, I know you are there. Here Fran I am. Francisco Javier. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Um, German Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Glenda Annette. Glenda, no. Harold Eduardo, por ahí lo vi. Harold. Present teacher. Thank you, Herbert, you are here very early. Hilda Milagro, I know you are there. Ingrid Xiomara. Ingrid Xiomara, no. Irene Beatriz, I know you are there. Jaime Antonio. Jaime, no lo he visto aún conectado. No. Uh, Jefferson Mauricio. No. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Por ahí está. So, did I mention all of you, or there is someone that I didn't mention? I guess we are all. Okay, so we will see at the end uh, the attendance one more time. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Okay, remember that. Um, this is the last week, okay? So this is the last week, and so we have to we have to uh, practice, okay, as much as we can. Probably um, the last the last um, date of the classes that will be the next Thursday. So probably we will do something different, okay? I will be. I'm thinking on that, but I don't have the complete idea because I don't know how much uh pending work we will have so depending on that i will i will think in something okay that probably we can do at the end so uh but besides that uh, um so we are we are fine okay so most of you almost all of you already complete the uh platform okay so sorry but i'm joining a different device just in case um yes perfect so as i told you i was checking the platform and everything and i see that you have most of us we are done so we have like two or three people in the class that is not complete but i guess that they are not part of the group anymore because they are not here in the attendance okay so uh let's start today we are going to try to almost complete the, the unit okay so, we will have like two or three activities for um, tomorrow and probably on Thursday. So we will do the whole day for just be talking, you know, talking and talking and talking. And probably we can clarify and double check information that we covered before. So in case if we have any doubt, any question, okay. So hopefully uh, you already sent uh, the information right to the Inglés Corporativo. Hopefully you already sent it because there was a due date, right? Do you know what a due date is? Yes, a due date. What is a due date, Harold? Uh, um, Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. 
the uh -huh. day I I don't yeah. sure is was today. The due no. day for the papers was yesterday. Yes. Okay, so to work in the platform, the due day is today, right? So that's mm -hmm. the that's the the due day. So when you have to do a payment, for example, when you receive a bill, okay, the electricity, for example, or the water bill, so they put a due day right there so that you need to go to the bank or to the main office on that date. If you go then later, so you have to pay extra, okay? Because you, you, you didn't uh, complete the payment on the due date, okay? So for example, if you receive your payment, so every 15 is like if you have a due date, right? So because on that day you receive your salary, okay? So we have a date. Okay, that will be the due date. I don't know if it's clear. Glenda Portillo, welcome, Glenda. Okay, nice to see you. Thank, um, you. thank you, Glenda. Do you know what a due date is? I don't know if it's clear now, Glenda, what it's a due date? Yes or no? I, I don't, I didn't understand. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see. Can you do it, teacher? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, okay? What it's a due date, because if I say, look, we have a homework, okay? So we have to do this and this and this as a homework. So you have to send your homework on next Saturday before midnight. So that is the due date. Okay, the date, okay? No, okay, no, okay. Sure. Yes, Echa, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, can I speak in Spanish? In por in favor. Teacher. <laughs> Solo por o sea, hoy. Due day is like, due day is like fecha límite. Exactly, okay. Fecha de vencimiento. Ah, okay. Exactly. Last day that you can do something. Exactly, that's why I told you in your electricity bill, Usted le llega su bill, right? Oh, you have to pay $50, right, as an example. And you have the due date until the uh, May 28th, okay? So that means that on that day, it's, that's the due date. If you don't go and pay on that date, so you have to pay extra, okay? Extra how, how fee. Do you write in, how do you write in that, teacher? Due date, it's uh, D, let me see, due date. It's D U A. And date, okay, como fecha, uh -huh. due date, okay, that's the due date, okay, cuando usted le dan una fecha límite, decimos nosotros, es, that's the due date, okay, que si usted no se pasa de ahí, ya la regó, okay, so in that case, I mentioned that word because the due date for your papers was yesterday, okay, si no los mandaron, se quedaron fuera, van a tener que repetir el módulo, o no sé cómo es que, que funciona esto, pero yo sé que todos lo enviaron, espero, ¿verdad? Y que puedan continuar. So, uh, let me share the screen one more time. Um, this is your presentation for today. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Make it as a presentation right here. Okay, so here we go. So this is something that we mentioned yesterday. Did you remember the WH questions formula? When Teacher, we, yeah. Uh, wait me, wait me for a moment, please. Oh, okay. oh well, you do the the all the, all, all that. I, I I came later. Okay, no problem. So be on mute. No problem. Okay, so uh, as I told you, we were like learning about the WH questions using was and where. Did you remember that this is the uh, formula that we have the structure, okay, for the uh, questions, okay, using a WH work that can be why, when, who, was, um, who, which, how many, and blah, 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 right? So besides that, so we have was and where, okay? That will depend on the subject. We need the subject and also the complement plus the question mark, 
So that was the structure. And I show you this part as well with some examples, okay? When were they at the cinema? Why were you in the library? Where was the hockey match? When he, I'm sorry, when was he in Madrid? So those are uh, questions using a WH and also the pass of B. That means that we are using was or where. So what else? Did you remember that we complete this exercise and we stop for it like this one? We were practice this conversation about where did you grow up? That's a conversation using the verbs in past, okay? So we are going to continue with this. Uh, let's see, Etel, could you please help me with the reading, please? Yes, 5.8. Lesson objective. By the end of the class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with deal, was and where. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrators how this topic is used in a real life setting. Teacher, you are on mute. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I was on mute. I was telling you that uh, that's a nice pronunciation, uh, Atel, okay? I like it, okay? Nice pronunciation in your reading, okay? Nice. Uh, let's see what we have right here. We have the WH questions with did, was, and where. This is an activity that we have in the book. I put it right here for us to uh, complete this activity. So we will do it right now and we will try to do it together. So let me move this part from here. Okay, so it says a WH questions where uh, did, was, and where. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, let me see who, 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 who. Uh, Eneida, Eneida Patricia. Okay, could you please read the first one, okay? Read the question and also the answer, please, this one. Okay, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Okay, nice, thank you, Naita. Don't forget that if it is a question, so you need to do the correct intonation, right? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas, okay? So, Carla Raquel, the next one, okay, this one. When, when did you come to Los Angeles? Continue. I came to Los Angeles uh -huh. in 1992. Okay, thank you. Teacher, one question. Go ahead. Uh, in the first one, the pronunciation grew up in uh, in present is same grew up in in past. It's almost the same. Where did you grow up? Okay, in this one, it's grew up. It's almost the same, but if you see the writing, it's different, right? This one is the the base form, and this one will be the past. Okay. Es, 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 lo, es lo contrario cuando decimos este read read. Exactly. Que se escribe igual y se pronuncia diferente, right? That's right, teacher. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank nice you. observation. Perfect. So, and this one says, when did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Remember the correct way to read the dates? It's two by two. Okay. Yo sé que usted me puede decir, oh, pero mira, ahí dice 1990 o 1990. Yes, but when we are talking about dates, so we need to read the numbers two by two. Okay, ahora si alguien me quiere decir 1,990, it's okay, it's, that's the number, right? But in English, normally we say 1990, okay? Raro alguien le va a decir, una, mire, yo nací en, en español, sí, decimos, soy del 1900 lo que sea, right? So, but in English, normally they say the 
the dates using two, two digits, okay? 1990. No uno por uno, ni todo de un solo, okay? 1990. So the next one, Angie, Angie Lopez. The next one, number three. No. Do did you become a higher list? Because I need the money. Okay, thank you. Nice. So why? Why did you become a hairstylist? Hairstylist. Because I need the money. Okay, because I need the money. Okay, the next one, Astrid Cortez. How old were you in night? Uh, 1990. Mm -hmm. And the answer? I was 18. Perfect. Okay. How old were you in 1990? So be careful with the mute. Alguien ahí está activando el, el audio y tienen background noise. Okay. So I mute all of you. Uh, let's see. How old were you in 1990? I was 18, okay, 18. The next one, German, continue with the next one. What teacher? This one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What was your major in college? It was drama. Thank you, it nice. Perfect. What was your major in college? It was drama. Okay. What was your major? Major in college, the, the two words we learned those two words yesterday. Okay. And the last one, Jessica Mancilla, the last one. How was college? It was great. Perfect. How was college? It was great. Okay. Now let's do this exercise together. So we have eight questions right here and we have a answer so what we have to do is match okay so take a look because we will do it together okay inmediatamente lo vamos a hacer so ve ahí las preguntas because right now we will do it together okay so let's see who uh, um let's see cordelia elizabeth Okay, number one, Cordelia Elizabeth, read the question and uh, the answer, okay? This one is already here, but read the, the number one with the answer, okay? Please. When and where were you born? Mm -hmm. And the um, answer? Um, I was born in 1983. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, thank you, Cordelia. Nice. It says number one, when and where? Okay, when and where were you born? And the answer, as she mentioned, I was born in 1983. Okay, in 1983 in uh, Hiroshima, Japan, okay, Japan. So that is the, the answer, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see who. Uh, let's see, Harold, Eduardo, number two. Read the question and give us your answer. Where did you grow up? The answer? Um, sería, uh, I grew up in Tokyo. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So where did you grow up? Okay, where did you grow up? And the answer will be letter F. I grew up in Tokyo. Okay, I grew up in Tokyo. Nice. Uh, let's see. The next one is for uh, Ilda. Hilda Milagro, please, number three. When did you start school? I entered first grade in 1989. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you, Hilda. Nice, nice, nice. When did you start the school? When did you start school? Oh, I entered first grade in 1989. Nice. Ana Guerra, number four. On mute, Anna. I'm sorry. Sorry. No problem. How old were you then? The answer? How old were you then? Okay, how old? Uh -huh. hey, I was six. Perfect, thank you, Anna, nice. How old were you then? Okay, so I was six. Okay, perfect. So Diana Elizabeth, the next one, please, number five. Hello, Diana. Diana Elizabeth, I see that you are, but I don't know if you are connected. Okay, so. Sí, se me desconectó. Ah, okay. Este, number five. Uh, how was your uh, first day of school? Yes. Okay, okay. So um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The questions, uh -huh, the question says, how was your first day at school? Okay, so how was it's letter H, okay, letter H, right? It was. A little scary, okay? It was a little scary, okay? Estaba un poco asustada the very first day of school, right? Thank you, Diana, okay? Nice. Let's see, the next one will be for Eugenia. Go ahead, please, number six. Number six, who was your first friend in school? And the answer is D, her name was Jimiko. Perfect, okay, who was your first friend in the school? Her name was Yumiko. Okay, perfect, thank you. And let's see, uh, the next one, Fidel, back, you're back, welcome. Okay, number seven, your question and the answer. Okay, what was he or she like? She was really shy. Okay, perfect, okay, remember that when we have this question, I don't know who has the, Microphone ahí, tienen ahí un periquito. Let me mute. Okay, so now we are on mute. So, um, yes, in this one, remember this like, it's not a, like a question that if you like something, okay? It's like, the, like if I say, uh, and how is your mother like? Okay, no le estoy preguntando qué le gusta a su mamá, sino que le estoy preguntando cómo es ella. Okay, so my wife, oh, she's a tall lady or she's an old. Okay, so you start describing. Okay, so in this one, number seven, what was he or she like? Como era él o ella, no como eh, que le gusta. Okay, porque cuando vemos el like, nos confundimos y decimos, hello, ah, I like pizza, I like pupusas. No, in this question, it's asking you. Uh, like a, a description, okay? So how was he or she like? Como era esa persona que fue su amigo o su amiga en el school, right? And that's why the answer says she was really shy. Ella era... Teacher, yes? teacher I have a question. Go ahead, Daniel. In, the, in, the, in this case, the question is what was he or she like? Uh, pero si fuera how was he or she like, what is the difference? Yeah, remember that in this case, we use the WH question, what? The other than the other one that you mentioned is how? Oh, how? Did you remember? What's the difference? 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 What's the dif
Okay, did you remember when we are going to use how? Did you remember? Que... Exactly, ¿Cómo? but we are going to use that no for person. Ahí está la description. When we are going to use how? Okay, how often? Okay, decíamos que eso es para preguntar a uh, frecuencia. How many dates? Uh -huh, okay, okay. okay, no es para preguntarle de una persona. Okay, oh, that's right, teacher. cuando you can count. Okay, how many classmates do we have? Oh, we have 23 classmates. Okay, so it's something that you can count. So in that case, if you want to know about a person, you need to use who that is for person who was he but in este caso estamos usando el what because we need to know how was that person okay that's the difference daniel okay same teacher okay no problem so the last one the last one let's see veamos a quien no le hemos preguntado uh let's see let's see let's see let's see herbert douglas please the last one why did you take this class the answer my English, was, my English wasn't very good. Perfect. Okay. Why? Okay. Why did you take this class? My English wasn't very good. Okay. Let's move on. Let's continue. Okay. Let's see what else do we have right here. And I have this little chart for you. Okay, in which we can see the WH and these questions. Okay, we have questions and answers. Okay, look, we have the WH right here. And also we can uh, create questions using did. No necesariamente tengo que tener siempre una WH. Yo puedo hacer una pregunta como con el verbo to be, right? So with uh, just the auxiliary, okay? We have an example right here that it says, what did you do last Sunday? I played soccer with my friends. So that would be the answer in past, right? So remember that when we have an auxiliary, so the verb will be the same, right? Where did you play soccer? Oh, I play soccer in the park. And how long did you stay there? I stayed there for about two hours. For about two hours, about, about two hours. Uh, did you enjoy the match? Okay, did you enjoy the match? Yes, I did. I got so, exhaust, so exhausted, but I like it. Okay, so that's an answer using did, right? Remember que yo puedo usar ya sea el verbo en pasado o si me están preguntando con el did, yo voy a responder con el did. Si me están preguntando con una WH question, yo tengo que saberme el verbo en pasado para yo responder porque yo no puedo contestar en presente algo que está en pasado. Okay, so, but one more time, if you don't know the verbs, so we have a problem. That means that we need to master the verse. And the last one says, did you do something else that day? No, I didn't. Well, I just called my girlfriend and uh, went out with her, okay? So those are another examples using uh, WH questions and also questions using did, okay? So, ya usted puede hacer preguntas en presente, Con, eh, con WH questions en pasado y con el did, que es el pasado para el auxiliar de los, uh, del to be, okay? Was and where, also you can use it as a um, auxiliary, right? So, uh, questions, are we good so far? Estamos bien aquí? Nice, okay. So let's see, we have the uh, lesson 5.11, okay? By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary uh, for discussing school, okay? So we have new vocabulary right here that we are going to do it right now. So let's do it um, individually. We are going to complete the word map with words from the list, okay? If you see, we have like three groups, okay? from school dates we have classes we have schools and we have places and we have these words okay so you have to classify all the words in the correct 
uh, placed, okay? Or in the correct uh, map, like it says right here, map. Uh, let's do it together, okay? Let's see the words. It says classroom, college, elementary, gym, high, history, junior high, lunch room, math, uh, physical education, playground, and science, okay? So let's do it together. Do you know all these words, right? O hay alguna palabra aquí that we don't know? Yes, do we have any word that you are like, mm. or we uh, know, uh, yeah, go ahead. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, what's the meaning of junior high? Oh, okay, junior high. So that's a bachillerato, right? Oh, let ah, me see. Okay. No, I'm sorry. That is tercer ciclo. That's tercer what we ciclo. call. That's what we say, right? Nosotros decimos, oh, okay. ah, va tercer ciclo. Yeah. That means seven, eight, or nine grade. Okay, so that is junior high because bachillerato, that will be high school. Okay, high school. And uh, then we also we have right here, creo que estaba Elementary. high. Elementary okay, school. elementary, so at the beginning, right? Nosotros, como decimos en El Salvador? Eh, eh, primaria. Primaria. Mm, primaria. Mm -hmm. Básica. Básica. Eso decimos nosotros, right? Básica. Aunque, va. aunque básica incluye hasta el noveno grado. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Exactly, but in the US it's a little different, but nosotros al, al no séptimo le decimos tercer ciclo, right? Ya va tercer ciclo. So that will be the uh, junior high, okay, in the US. Okay, so nice. Any other word? I guess no, right? So we have the, Yes. La última palabra. Science. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Science, that, that will be the subject. Yes, that will be the subject. So let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. Playground. Play, okay, playground. this playground. Okay, playground. Okay, playground. So we do have it in the schools, right? So the area de juego, dice uno, para los chiquitines. Ahí están los tobogancitos. So. Like the yard. Exactly, like the yard, but in this case, you have toys or you have something to play okay that's a special place for you to, well for the kids be able to play so let me put mute one more time que no sé quién se le está activando ahí el audio okay so uh let's do together this thing okay let's see let's see let's see who um Quiero ver quién no le hemos preguntado. Irene López. Irene López. So, uh, classroom, where you are going to classify. This one is the example that we have. So, uh, Irene. So, classroom will be in which category? Places. Okay, places. Uh, the next one, German College. What do you think? So this word, college. So where you are going to classify the word? We have three groups. This one, classes, school, and places. School. School. Okay, perfect. That would be school. Nice. Uh, let's see, Javier. The next one, Javier. Uh, elementary. School. That would be school as well. Uh, Diana Lisbeth. Gym. Diana? Yes? The work uh, gym. Uh, gym. In class. Lugares, teacher, in places. Places, okay, no. places. Ingrid yeah. Xiomara, Ingrid Xiomara, uh, Play, height. Places. Ingrid Xiomara. ¿Cuál es? Height. Um, school. Okay, school. 
Thank you. Uh, Cindy Arely, uh, let's see history. Uh, classes. Classes, okay, perfect. Uh, let's see the next one, uh, Astrid Cortez. Uh, we have junior high. Uh, schools. Schools, okay, thank you. Ana Guerra, the next one, lunch room. Places. Places, okay. Herbert Douglas, math. Classes. Classes, okay. The next one, uh, Daniel, physical education. Uh, classes. Okay, perfect. And the next one, so Eugenia, playground. Playground is places. Perfect. And the last one, Eneida, science. Classes. Okay, that's classes, right? So let's move on, okay? Let's practice the questions, okay? Look, we have different questions right here. So uh, we are going to ask the questions to our classmates, okay? So be ready with the answers, okay? So in these uh, questions, think about when you were a student, okay? No me vaya a decir, mire, yo no tengo... And no, nunca tuve un compañero. So we all fuimos aunque sea primer grado, okay? So, y, y si no fue, invente que usted fue y que usted tuvo un clases, okay? So, because the idea is that we need to talk in past, okay? So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And it can be in different order, right? So it's not necessary to follow the order. So Ilda Milagro, choose one of your classmates and choose one of the questions and ask the question to that person, please. Okay. Mm. Um, Fidel. Okay, Fidel. <laughs> now ask the question. <laughs> you are so bad. Okay. Um, what was um, in order or no? No, can be in no. Oh, okay. Whatever. What was your last favorite class and why? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, um, my favorite class was publicity mm -hmm. because we learned about a uh, many class uh, every publicity we saw and it was very very interesting because mm -hmm. the teacher was very eloquent very community talkative talkative mm -hmm. so he was very very good teacher ah, okay perfect nice nice perfect uh now let's see angie lopez the same story angie. i can't choose um not yet okay so we need to see <laughs> okay. uh, with the rest okay but thank you fidel so let's see angie choose one of your classmates and also one of the questions and ask the question to that person. Be ready with the answers, because no sabe quién le va a, le va a tocar responder. Go ahead, Angie. Ingrid. Okay, Ingrid, um, Xiomar, I guess. Let's see. Um. So ask the question. Where did you spend your free time? What? Okay. Uh, one Why more time. Know? One more time. Ask the question, please. Where did you spend your free time? What? Okay. This one, right? Where did you spend? your free time and why, where? That's the question, where? So imagine that you uh, were, when you were at school, right? So that's the idea. Think about um, when you were a student, okay? Back on the dates. 
So Ingrid Xiomara. Um, es este como mi pasatiempo, ¿verdad? Sorry, I'm mute. Not really, okay? Look at the, the question says where. Did you remember the WH question where? Okay, le está preguntando sobre un lugar, right? Where is para lugares. So where in this one is in the past, spent. Okay, do you know the meaning of spent? What is spent? Gastar, ocupar, gastar. utilizar. Okay, that is gastar. gastar. But in this case, in the, in the, um, in the question no es gastar, o sea, nosotros no decimos así si usted lo traduce, okay? So, but in this case it's like where you been, okay? Utilizar. Donde usted estuvo o donde usted utilizó, okay? Where, donde, where, your free time, okay? When you were at school. So when we are in the school, we have breaks, okay? So you have breaks. So during the break, so where you spend your free time and why? Uh -huh. Ingrid? Um, bueno, voy a responder esto. No sé si estará bien así. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No okay. problem. Okay. Spend my free time at my grandmother's in the house because I don't like to be alone at Okay, okay. So let's see, Ingrid, there is something very important at the beginning. Um, okay. What is something very important? The subject, okay? Remember that every time that um, we answer, so we need the subject. So I, okay, I, and remember the structure, okay? Ahí les he puesto uh -huh. la, la estructura, sujeto, Verbo, el pasado del verbo y el complemento. Ok. Nice. Ok. So, in this case, está preguntando, right, ¿dónde? Ok. You use your, you spend your free time. So, I spend, pasado, right, my, porque uh -huh. ya no sería your, my free time at the field. Ahí en la cancha pasaba yo jugando. Un ejemplo. O en la... In the cafeteria, in the cafeteria. So I spend my free time during breaks in the cafeteria. Okay. Thank you, Ingrid. No problem. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Jessica Mancilla. So choose one of your classmates and um, choose one of the questions and ask the question, please. Que escoja alguien, verdad? Yes, please. Uh, Ana Guerra. Okay, so now choose one of the questions. What did you like best? What did you like best? Okay, so Ana Guerra, what did, remember it's in the past, imagine that you are, when you were at school, what did you like best? Anna? The meaning of best is mejor, best. Okay, best. So that is like the time, okay? Uh huh, go ahead. What no did you like best? No entiendo la pregunta. Okay, no problem. Let's do it together, okay? What did you like best, okay? So remember what, Kevin, that what, pasado, did, you like best. So, si yo le digo, Ana, you are the best of the best, okay? So you, you get a hundred in the exam, you get a ten, so you, you are the best, el mejor, right? 
So you are the number one, so that is best, okay? So when you were at school, what did you like best? Oh, I really love to be with my classmates, okay? Doing a mess in the classroom. Eso era lo que más me gustaba. Okay? Exactly, that, that you like the best. Que era lo mejor para usted de haber estado estudiando en aquel tiempo, okay? Because it's in the past. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. Was, was, remember in the past. Mm -hmm. Where, where, where my, my, my classmate. Okay, okay, perfect, okay. In that case, uh, the, the sentence can be, I liked, in pasado, or the best, was aware, be with my friends. Era estar con mis compañeros, right? Be with my friends, where my classmates, it's fine, okay? Perfect, thank you, okay? Nice, let's see, one more, okay? Let's see who, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, ya no hay a quien preguntarle, Dios mío. Eh, Eneida, Eneida Patricia, so choose one of your classmates in one of the questions. Daniel Garba. Okay, Daniel. Daniel, I guess you say Daniel, right? Okay, that's right. Okay, perfect. So the question, um, Eneida. What was your last holiday class and why? Okay, this one, right? What was your favorite class and why, Daniel? Okay, my my favorite class was uh, finance. Finance. Okay. Mm with uh, with his my 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 better my better material that was the best okay that can okay. be the, the best, best. Ma uh, uh -huh. subject okay, subject. Ma okay. Ma materia, me quiere decir usted. Yes, subject yes, okay right. that is subject that was my best subject but why subject. why why that was your best subject um mm -hmm. I like I like and then the, um, I like um, the number the math. Oh, okay remember when we have why so it would be nice if you answer because okay because why okay. because I like the numbers and I guess that you are good at numbers okay so you are okay, good with the numbers okay nice. Perfect. Let's see the last one because of the time. Angie, Cort uh, I'm sorry, Astrid Cortez. So choose one of the questions in one of your classmates as well. Uh, okay. Diana Lisbeth. Okay, Diana Lisbeth, be ready. Now ask the question, please. Who was your best friend? Mm -hmm. Nice question. Okay, so Diana Lisbeth, who was your best friend at school? Hello, Diana. Donde está Diana? Diana Lisbeth, Diana Lisbeth, go ahead. This one, yes. who was your best friend? Who was your best friend, Diana? Yes. I Pan, my, no. No, this one. Who was oh, your yeah. best friend? Uh, my, my best friend was, uh, is, uh, Andrea. Is, is or was? Andrea. Mm -hmm. One more time. Was. Was, okay. I is Andrea. Mm. Ok, ok, I no, no me meten el verbo to be con el pasado, o presente o pasado, pero no puedo unir 
¿ok? So, one more time, Diana, ¿ok? Sí me lo acaba de decir, No, ¿okay? lo, lo que trataba de decirle era que se fue y es mi mejor amiga. Ah, ok, perfect. So, in that case, that would be, oh, my best friend was... Uh, Sofía, I don't know the name that you mentioned, okay? And she is still my friend nowadays, okay? Ahí usted le agrega otra oración, ah, pero okay. serían como dos oraciones, digamos, separadas, porque no puedo unir los tiempos, o was or, or is, ah, okay. okay? But nice, okay, Diana? So my best friend was uh, fulanito, chupito, lo que Thank sea. You. And now, oh, and also... She is my best friend, or she's still my best friend. Ella aún es mi mejor amiga, okay? So, let's continue, okay? okay? Let's continue with the next one, okay? So, now we have this activity. Let's see what time is it. Oh, my God, we have five minutes, okay? So, uh, we are going to start. We have a reading, okay? And, and the reading is always about past. The name of the reading is yesterday, okay? So let's see. I need a volunteer, okay, to read this paragraph. Thank me you, teacher. Eugenia. Okay? okay, I'm sorry, Eugenia. It was like me, 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 me. Okay? <laughs> no problem, no problem, teacher. <laughs> okay, so Eugenia, go ahead. Please help us with the reading about uh, yesterday. Yesterday was a nice day. Yesterday was a nice day. The weather was great. It was a warm and sunny day. I was on a small trip with my family. My sister was super happy. We were playing in the park when some birds appeared. My mother was a little worried, but my father was cool. He was calm because those birds were harmless. The park was green and clean. It was beautiful. It was one of the best days of my life. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Very nice. Nice pronunciation. Okay, so this is a reading about yesterday. Okay, yesterday was a nice day. Okay, so do we have any new work in this reading? Hay alguna palabra that we don't know and that you are not clear about what is the meaning or what is the content? Appear, appear, teacher, appear, no sé cómo pronuncia. Okay, when some birds, birds, I'm sorry, when some birds appeared, appeared, okay? So this one is the past, okay? Este es el verbo en pasado, right? Appear, that will be present, and this one with the ed at the end, so that will be the past. Aparecieron, aparecieron, ah, aparecieron, right? Ah, in this okay. case, el verbo es aparecer, pero como está en pasado, ap aparecieron. aparecieron. Okay, so let me mute one more time right here, porque no sé quién. Tiene ahí un pajarito suelto. Harmless, teacher. Harmless. Harmless. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, ¿dónde está, dónde está? Harmless, okay, harmless. Aha, harmed, list. Ahí es, hay una campo word, right? List, y el harm. What is the meaning, okay? Remember that they are talking about the birds. Those birds were harmless. Eso le dice usted, cuando llega, usted tiene un gran chuchote, hay un gran perrote en la casa, llega alguien, ¿qué le dice usted? No muerte. That they are not dangerous. Exactly. Usted le dice, entre, si no es bravo. No, no, no le va a hacer nada. Right? So the dog is harmless, inofensivo. Algo okay, así, ¿verdad? Thanks. Como eh, que no le va a causar ningún problema. Y el gran perro ahí con la gran mordida. Uno, right? No, si es mansito. <laughs> okay? So that would be the dog is harmless. Okay? So in this case, Los pájaros eran inofensivos, o sea, la mamá dice que estaba a little worried, porque había unos pájaros quizás grandes, no sé. So, but the birds were harmless, ¿ok? Eran inofensivos, ¿ok? No dañinos, harm es como dañar, harmless, no dañinos, ¿ok? Perfect, nice, any other word? Oh my God, time is over. So tomorrow we are going to continue with the 
uh, questions that we have right here about the uh, reading, okay? And also we do have some others, um, some others um, parts right here that we have to complete, okay? So, but we have time to more. So um, let's see, let's see, let me stop sharing. And I would like to say thank you because uh, you are here on time. Okay, let me put mute one more time. Porque... Okay. So thank you, as I told you, for being here. And I have to pass the attendance one more time. Deme un segundo while I open this um, file right here. And so we will be able to end the class. So let's see one more time. Anna Astrid. Here, Thank you. Um, uh, Ana Guerra, no, you are there. Ana Cristina, no. Uh, then we have Ana Lisbeth, no. Then we have Ana Miriam, no. Ana Victoria, no. Angie Lopez, ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí está Angie. Okay, uh, let's see, Angie, ahí está. Carla Raquel, ahí está Carla. Cindy Arely. Here, teacher. Cindy, okay. Al inicio no le puse asistencia, pero ahí está ya. Cordelia, no. Eh, Delia, hola, hola. Delta. I'm Cord here. Cordelia Elizabeth. Yes, oh my God. I Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm sorry, you were not here at the beginning. Por eso le había puesto que no estaba, pero ya le cambié. Okay, Thank you. so prob no problem. Uh, Daniel, I know you are there. Daniel is present. Thank you. Diana Lisbeth, I know you are there. Doris Maricela. Present. Doris, okay. Thank you, Doris. Uh, Edwin Edgardo. Edwin Edgardo, no, but I no lo vi. Eitel, I know you are there. Present. And Eita, I know you are there. Present. Uh, Eugenia, I know you are there. Fidel, I know. Francisco, I know you are there. German, I know. Glenda Annette. Glenda Annette, no, verdad? Harold Eduardo, I know you. Herbert Douglas, I know you are there. Hilda Milagro, I know you. Ingrid Xiomara, sí, verdad? Al inicio no le había puesto, pero Present, miss. ahí está ya. Irene Beatriz, I know you are there. Jaime, 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 creo que no, no apareció Jaime. Uh, Jefferson Mauricio, no. And Jessica Guadalupe, ahí está. Present, Jessica Guadalupe, das para que vean que yo ya me los puedo. Son los que, los, todos los que no son tacaños con la cámara, yo ya me los puedo bien, ya sé el nombre y ya sé quién es, pero los que no me han querido poner cámara, ¿cómo? Pues si, si no tengo la imagen de, de alguien, right Pero sí, ya la gran mayoría yo ya sé quién es, para que vean que cómo los tengo bien marcaditos cuando los ven en la calle y no me hablen. Okay, so I'm sorry, it's, it's time for me to go to the other class, okay? Thank you so much for being here, and uh, see you tomorrow, okay? Mañana seguimos, terminamos esta unidad, y, el, y mañana nos okay. ponemos de acuerdo para el último día, eh, que podemos hacer, okay? So thank you, and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So, gracias porque ya trabajaron en la plataforma. Ahí vi que ya estaban, ya anoche ya dormí un poco más tranquila. Ya hoy voy a dormir bien relax, ¿ok? Ya no voy a estar soñando que no han hecho la plataforma. ¿Ok? So, thank you, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. 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 bye.